I'm Fran Badger. I'm an honorary research fellow at the History of Medicine Unit at the University of Birmingham, Birmingham, UK. This um, birth story for the um, Risks of Childbirth Historical uh, Network um, relates to a, a death in childbirth which appeared to have consequences for the whole family. And um, I'm indebted to uh, the contribution of Jim Drive, who's provided um, the uh, statistical information on uh, maternal mortality um, at this um, period in the 19th century. In March 1900, 20-year-old Anne Ramsbottom gave birth to her first child at home. Four weeks later, she died as the result of an ambulance, and her death certificate um, in the cause of death section notes, accouchement, one month, embolus. Her husband, George, was possibly somewhat exhausted, owing to long hours working in cutlery manufacturing, alongside caring for her and their newborn infant, although possibly there was some family input as well. His occupation also placed him at increased risk of respiratory disease and he died from pneumonia just 17 days after his wife had died. So by the age of six weeks, their son, also called George, was orphaned and went to uh, live with his aunt. In September the same year, he died of gastroenteritis, which was endemic at the time and also Presuming that he was artificially fed, this would have placed him at greater risk of this illness. So within the space of six months, all three members of this young family had died. So Anne's death just a month after childbirth was, it seems, due to a pulmonary embolus. The risk of uh, an embolus is increased throughout pregnancy and the puperium, up to six weeks after delivery. So it's almost certain her death was pregnancy related. The risk of developing an embolism was also um, linked to the long since discontinued practice of enforced bed rest following delivery, but we cannot know whether Anne followed this habit of adopting bed rest. Nevertheless, by 1900, um, embolism had become a relatively rare cause of um, pregnancy related death with an incidence of around 30 per 100,000 pregnancies. The mortality from embolism then changed um, relatively little until the 1930s, but by the mid-1950s the mortality from this cause had fallen to around 8 per 100,000 pregnancies. And more recent figures for 2006 to 2008 show that the mortality from pulmonary embolism had fallen further to about one in 100,000 cases. It's now an extremely rare cause of death thanks to increasing awareness of risk factors including um, caesarean section and giving prophylactic anticoagulation when um, risk has, of this condition has been um, identified. Anne's untimely death, which was most likely the result of her recently having given birth, resulted in her infant son being vulnerable to illness and an early death. And furthermore, her death may be contributed to her husband's final fatal illness as well. <laughs>